Hello everyone, in today's video of preparing different types of charts for our project dashboard, we will talk about donut progress charts for our project dashboard. As you can see in this dashboard, I have three different projects. The percentage completed of every project is different. And once I update the percentage completed of any of the project, for example, let's make the Telecom G site 54%. As you can see, the chart will be updated. The same applies for the other charts. For example, for the HQ office, let's make it 45%. Or maybe for the HOL project, let's make it 67%. In today's video, we will discuss how to prepare such dynamic charts using Microsoft Excel. In order to prepare a donut progress chart, we will need two types of information. Information number one is the project details. We will have the project name, the percentage completed, and the percentage remaining. Besides that, I have named the other donut chart as the baseline chart. So we will insert information for these two. Let's give our project a name. We will name it project number one. And we will write a percentage completed, for example, 45%. For the percentage remaining, we will write down equal sign 100% minus the percentage completed. So this will be our project details. Besides that, we have the baseline chart. We will divide our baseline chart into 10 different slices. The value of each slice should be 1. So let's write down slice number 1, number 2, number 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. In order to plot the donut chart, First, we will select the values for the baseline chart. Then go to Insert. From here, we will select Pie Charts and we will select Donut Charts. So this chart will be created. I'll take it to the right here. I'll remove the legends and the chart title. Next thing is to have a uniform color for all the slices of the donut. To do that, we will right-click the donut chart and go to Format Data Series. From here, in the Fill and Line, we will select the fill as a solid fill and pick a transparent color for this one. Let's select, for example, this color. Next, we are going to plot these values on the donut chart. To do that, again, we will come to the chart area, right-click and go to Select Data. From here, we will click Add and the series name will be the project name and for the series values we will select both the percentage completed and the percentage remaining. We will click OK. Now as both of the charts are plotted, we will click on the project chart. We will right click and go to change series chart type. From here for the project number one we will plot it on the secondary axis and then we will click OK. Now, we will change the colors for both the percentage completed and the percentage remaining. I will double click the percentage completed and from the fill and line in here, I will select a solid fill and I will select a color for the percentage completed. This color will be OK. I will increase the transparency, for example, to 35% and for the percentage remaining, again, we will go to no fill. I'll close this. Now as I update the percentage completed, let's make it for example 60%. As you can see, this one will be updated. The next thing is to have the percentage completed and the project name in this chart. And that should be dynamic as well. Once you update this value, the value inside the percentage should be updated as well. To do that, we'll click the chart, go to insert and select the text box. I'll draw the text box in here. In the function bar, I will write down equal sign and I will click the cell having the value of the percentage completed. Then I will press enter. Let's bring it to the center and middle and for example, let's make it 16 and bold and have a different color for this one. And let's have it in the center here. We can do the same for the project name as well. We'll go to Insert and we'll go to Text Box. I'll draw the text box in here 
in the function bar I will write down equal sign I'll select the project name now if you update the project name for example let's make it project HQH or any other name that you would like to add to your project or maybe update the percentage let's make it 75 percent as you can see both the chart and the value inside the chart will change I hope you like the content of the video if you found them informative don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel Besides that, visit our Instagram and LinkedIn pages. We post daily about project management and civil engineering in there as well. Thank you very much for watching.